guys, welcome back to Herbert Studios. My name is Farah. So today's effect is a preset effect by Adobe. So before we start, if you're new here, welcome to Herbert Studios. We are a Malaysian grown motion graphics and animation studio. We do a lot of After Effects tutorials here on YouTube. So stick around if you like to. Uh, do subscribe to us and follow us on our other social media such as Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Without further ado, let's get straight right into it. Okay, let's start with creating a composition and place an object, any photo, any shape you like. Okay, let's go to the effects and presets panel. If you don't see it, uh, you can go to your windows panel and search for effect and presets here and click on it and it will show. Okay, let's go here and type in shatter and now just drag it in onto your object. So the first thing you'll see is this a wireframe sort of thing. Instead of seeing the wireframes, I think it will be much more easier to work with the rendered versions. You will see under your shatter effect, there will be a section called view and change it from wireframe and forces to rendered. So first of all, if you scrub through the timeline, you will see that your object is being shattered. So this itself is an effect that works on its own. So technically you don't have to do anything with it unless you do want to customize the shapes. Check out your effects controls panel and we can see under shape, uh, click the toggle down button. So under pattern, you see that the default pattern is called brick, but I don't think it makes sense for a plate to shatter like bricks. So there's a bunch more other presets here given by Adobe which is all cool you can explore them for yourselves like here so uh, this is how a plate breaks it looks like glass besides the pattern we can work with other settings uh, such as repetition the more you increase it the more shatters are being shown here so the depth extrusion depth is for how thick you want your shattering pieces to be so if you bring it up you'll see that the pieces are much more thicker and then next you can see that there is position settings so the position is where the shattering starts to make things much more obvious for you to see if you try to move the position for force you'll see that the shattering follows this so for instance if you have something coming from the left or the right you might want to put the position of the force onto the left or the right of your object. So radius in a practical way you can keyframe radius as to pinpoint where you want to begin the shattering effect to start. I will click on the keyframe for radius here. I'll bring it to the side a bit. I'll put another keyframe and I'll bring the radius from 0 to 1.3 like this. So as you can see if we bring it back down it will start from zero up to whatever number you put here so this can be used as when you want to start your breaking your shattering effect if you want it to start after two seconds you can bring it there and it will do the exact same thing so uh, that is how you want to use the radius under the force panel and then there's strength Strength is technically just like how strong the force is onto the object. So you might want to play around with that as well. Okay, and then uh, let's look into the other important parts of this effect such as physics. Here we have a few options. So rotation just shows how fast the pieces would rotate after they're being shattered. And gravity effect how fast it will be pulled down towards the point of gravity so if you bump that up uh, definitely it will fall down much more faster right after the shattering effects happen so that is basically what the shatter effect does so let's look into how we can apply this shatter effect to our creative projects so for instance we have this gift box that falls and reveals a Christmas tree wishing you a Merry Christmas let's go into how we applied this effect onto this project uh, first of all make sure your animation is done and then you can add in sh your shatter effect so see this effect here on oh, shatter here so once the box falls the effects happens if you notice here the shatter effects only happens within this boundary it's because the size of the object or the gift box 
is actually limited to just this to avoid that from happening you can add in this effect called grow bounce inside your effects and presets panel and add it onto the composition you can further expand the box this is how it looks like after you add grow bounce so a note is just to make sure that the grow bounce effect is on top of the shatter effects on in your effects and controls panel here we've put some customizations to our uh, dispersion so if you notice when the box falls it starts to disperse from the bottom of the box and that is because we positioned the force to be down here right at the bottom and then you could also see that we keyframe the radius to begin the shattering right at uh, this point and it finishes and it finished dispersing by this point then we also have gravity here just to create that effect where when it shatters it first flies up and then it slowly goes down for this project we use the octagons and square pattern instead of a glass one so i think that's pretty cool and there you have it that is how you apply the shattering effect or the dispersion effect to your motion graphics right here we have another example of how you can use it as a confetti instead so this is another box and when it opens up there are confetti coming out of the box in this case uh, what uh, is going on behind the scenes is that behind the box there are two shaped layers that are only revealed after the box is being opened and they they disperse right away as if confetti is coming out of the box okay so th these are the few examples that you can use to add more exciting elements onto your animation it's very useful and i hope it will benefit you in your future projects and that is the dispersion or shatter effect that you can find in after effects so if you learned something new today do comment down below in the comment section before we end today's video do subscribe to our channel if you haven't do follow us on our social media platforms and do look forward to our studio updates where we will talk about the latest trends and design news in our design community. If so, if you'd like to be notified, do follow us at herbert.studios on these platforms. So that'll be all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.